Hi everyone, welcome to Strip Club. Hi. It is December at Cozy Land. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> We're a little festive. Um, December means, of course, we are high on spirit but short on time. So today, here at Cozy Creative Center in San Diego, and I say that in case anybody is watching and they want to come visit us, we're in the El Cajon area of San Diego. Um, I'm going to show you a new pattern that uses two and a half inch strips, but it's wonderfully fast and easy. And you get a bonus quilt out of this project. Yay. Yes. So this one is called Double Dipping. And I'm especially excited because I didn't design it. It was designed by Isabel Prado, one of our staff members. Yay. And it, I'm, her name is on it and everything, so she gets full credit for this design. Yay, Yay Izzy. All right, first you're going to start with two and a half inch strips. As you can see in my quilt here, we have two and a half inch strips and background fabric. Really, that's all you need, the background fabric, the strips, and then your borders. We are going to use the strip tube ruler. Oh, it's time to get it out, although, you know, warm my heart and tell me you never put it away. Right? I mean, it's, it's always right there ready to use, right? Well, we have two sizes of the strip tube ruler. We have the regular size, which we call senior because he came first. This is the regular strip tube ruler, and he goes up to nine and a half inches. This project, we like strip tube junior. He does, the big one does everything the little guy does. The little guy only goes to six and a half inches, which makes him easier for smaller cuts. And this project will be a little smaller cut than the nine and a half. So it's much nicer to start with strip tube junior. Okay, so we're going to have some two and a half inch strips. Whether you cut them yourself or you get them from a strip set, you will need to have background fabric to go against those strips. I highly recommend a background that has contrast. That is really your only rule. Just have contrast to your strips and then go have fun. You notice you will have a lot of background. So my other suggestion is like your background. <laughs> so here I have a print strip and a background strip sewn together to make a strip set. Hopefully they measure four and a half inches. <laughs> Today they do. <laughs> print and a background sewn together. On the other side here I have another print and a background also sewn together. You may notice that these are half width of fabric. The pattern will tell you to use full width of fabric, but you do have the option of using half width of fabric, which means when you take your strips, both the print and your background, you'll cut them in half on that fold that we get when we get it out, when we uh, take it home from the quilt shop. If you cut it on that fold, you will sew the strips together. You'll make twice as many because it's half as big and you will get more variety. So it's good to use half strips. So here I have the two half strips sewn together. There's a strip set and we have another strip set. Now the whole trick to this is we have a print strip on a print strip and a background strip on a background strip. That's the hardest part of this quilt. <laughs> print on print, background on background. We are going to sew a tube, quarter inch seam up along the top, quarter inch seam down the bottom to make that tube. And then we're going to take this to our cutting station and pull out our very favorite strip tube junior. Here it's out of the packaging, making it clear, which actually makes it easier to use. <laughs> we're going to put the measurement on the bottom stitching line and cut up and cut down. The pattern will tell you what measurement size to use. You'll get a triangle. Are you guys with me? Yes. You know what's coming up next? Yep. All right. You get a triangle that looks like this. We're going to pull the triangle away from the strip set, and then we're going to open up that triangle. Op open, yep, yep, yep. Open up that triangle to get a diagonally pieced square. Boom. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. So, notice this is your block. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> That's it. That's your block. We're going to make a bunch of blocks that uh, look like this and sew them together in an arrangement that looks like this. You can pick your arrangement. You don't have to do what we do. The pattern will show you different layout options. Um, I like this offset concentric diamond effect. You don't have to do it this way. It's your quilt. You can lay it out however you want to lay it out. So we'll sew the blocks together by rows and then the rows together to create your quilt and then add borders. Now, if you've ever used the strip tube ruler, you know there's a second cut that I haven't talked about yet. 
To make that other cut, we'll take the ruler and put it on the top stitching line. Cut up and cut down to cut out a triangle. Triangle looks a little bit like this. When we pull that triangle away and open it up, we will get a diagonally piece square. Diagonally piece square. A diagonally piece square. Thank you. So now we have another block, but wait, Daniela, it's totally different. So this quilt is two, two, two quilts in one. <laughs> this is why the project is called double dipping, because you will actually be making two quilts at the same time. So as you go down your strip set, you will get a bunch that look like this, and you'll have a bunch of blocks, which we call the bonus blocks, a bunch of blocks that look like that. Sort all of these together to make your main quilt, and then put the others aside for your bonus quilt. Aside. Right? Yeah. Very nice, huh? Very simple, very easy. What a perfect project for December. You can have it done by Christmas. <laughs> you can. I didn't say which Christmas. She knows as well. Yes, she does. It's a great project for a December. It's a great project for any time. If you like your strip bundle and you like your background, you're going to love your quilt. So isn't it pretty? Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it simple? Yes. Would you like to see that bonus quilt? Yes. So these are the same fabrics as the one you see on the wall behind me. And this is the bonus quilt. You will get the same number of blocks. If you arrange it the same way, it'll be the same size but without borders. So if you would like to add borders, you can follow the border um, requirements, the same yardage as you would for the main quilt. Just buy extra borders and you can complete this with the same borders. It's the same size, so you can just buy the same one. Lovely? Mm -hmm. So a little more background, a little more strips, a little more modern, a little m more rock and roll. <laughs> but wait, there's more. So from the leftover tube thing that we have here, Maureen, who makes our samples and is my tester extraordinaire, took the spare blocks, made, cut out more triangles that open up into squares but a smaller size, and made a bonus bonus. <laughs> like the bonus had a baby, and this is what it made. So you'll notice in this, in this well, it's either a temple, uh, table runner or Could, could be a quilt for me. <laughs> You'll notice you see both blocks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. yeah, so you'll see both blocks are um, represented. They're smaller, so the one that has the uh, print strip in the tips, in the corners, there's a little less of it because it's a smaller triangle that opens up into a square. Yeah? Okay. It's very nice, isn't it? Yeah. And maybe we'll bind it. <laughs> it is December. <laughs> All right. If only we had it in another colorway. Oh, it's December. It's tough. Yeah, but you got time. We have a lot of we have a lot of elves. <laughs> Wait, wait. Okay. Isn't it terrific? This is an ombre uh, fabric from V and Company, and it has the dots. So the ombre means it transitions from a darker fabric to a lighter fabric and then back to a darker fabric. So a single strip will give you different shades of the same color. And the dots, too, are 
ombre. They're a little heavier on the ends and a little lighter um, into the centers. So we used yardage from that same collection for our borders, <coughs> and it was deliberately placed so that the, the dense population of dots was in the corners, oh, yeah. making it a terrific effect, which is not that hard. No, no, no hot fix crystal applicator for this one. <laughs> nice? Yeah. Very lovely. And because it is double dipping, we have that bonus quilt. Would you like to see that? Yes, please. He's good, right? Oh, yeah. This, this ombre with dots is such a pretty fabric. Yeah? But wait. There's a bonus bonus for this one, too. There's a bonus bonus, which is the bonus quilt of the bonus, because it's the sec. Anyway, yes, there's bonus all around. It's a triple dip. I will tell you that this stuff is not in the pattern. You won't get the bonus bonus in the pattern because it depends on your fabric, how long your fabric is. Not all fabric is this long where you can get those extra pieces. So I, I didn't want to tease you and put those instructions in the pattern and then not have it. You really don't care what I'm saying. You just want to see the quilt, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's nice, isn't it? And um, especially effective is all those blacks in the center to create that, that diamond, and then everything else radiates from there. Do you have that as a jelly roll? Yes, this is a jelly roll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fun, isn't it? So double dipping by Izzy Prado. Any questions? No, because it's that easy. All right, you guys. Then that's it for this month. Let's do it again next month for another pattern that uses two and a half inch strips. Yay! Yay. Yay.